Hello! Just uh, refilling my wine bottle here. It's a empty water. Uh, for some reason, people like knowing what I do when I'm not talking about technology stuff and doing regular old YouTube videos. So I thought, why, I guess, shouldn't we start vlogging? And today may be a good day to start, right, Diana? Right. Uh, we're Tonight we're going to be meeting uh, one of Diana's uh, favorite YouTubers. Yay, I'm so excited. Judy. Yes, Judy and Benji. Yes, and so I've been emailing Benji back and forth, and finally we're in the area. We're staying at the Tulalip Resort and Casino, even though Diana and I aren't gamblers. I ended up helping Tulalip a few weeks ago with a Facebook campaign, and so they, they had us up here uh, and gave us some nice tickets, like 20 for $25 of slot play. Diana and I blasted through $40 last night and have nothing to show for it. Um, so let me give you a tour of the way Diana and I choose to stay at hotels. And I think, how many hotels have you ever stayed in? Four? Yes. <laughs> Not a lot. So it's actually, it's a very nice room. I, I, I gotta tell you, and I don't know if this, the camera will do it justice. Very large, at least as far as hotel rooms are concerned. Nice, clean, smells good. Uh, Touchscreen phone, which of course the geek in me is attracted to. I can just press one button. We've got a couple's massage scheduled at uh, 2.30. And we get a 10% discount because we have the, like a rewards club card or something like that. So last night we came in walking uh, with uh, two bags from Walmart with some bottled water, some uh, jerky that uh, Diana wanted, uh, some uh, <laughs> pork rinds. Yeah, I used hates. to love these things. Well, the problem was is like she, you, you open them and I'm like, <laughs> and I thought someone farted, but no, it's just pork rinds. And if you've never smelled, smelled pork rinds, you know what I'm saying. So we had, you know, a bottle of Mountain Dew, some potato chips, and boxed wine. Now, of course, you know I'm a boxed wine fiend. So we figured we'd get it, and we'd just drive home with it. Didn't really want to use the Honor Bar or anything like that. And oh, instead what of about your cups. Star Wars? Oh, yeah. Like, they had Easter uh, candy on sale for, like, 75% off. So I got all these Star Wars Easter eggs for, I mean, it's not like Star Wars Easter eggs. Star Wars wrapping for, like, a buck. Oh, that was kind of fun. I don't know. Maybe we'll save it to next Easter, and you can go find them. Um... <laughs> But it's, I mean, it's pretty nice. Nice little yeah. honor bar. Nice little collection of, uh, you know, things that you can use to drink and prices. Uh, $7 for a Snickers. Yes. That's, but, you know, honestly, that's like par for the course for a hotel. Pretty nice full-length mirror here. Really nice closet, I would say. It lights and, up. And I know they say that's kind of, it does light up, or it should light up. Oh, wait. I don't know if I've got the power. They've got a special mm. thing where you, it conserves energy. Oh, there's there a light. There we go. Uh, safe. And if you've never really stayed at a lot of hotels, you, you don't know how nice this hotel is truly is, and I'd say this is an average room. It's not a suite or anything like that. Not like yeah. the one that we stayed at at the Trump Tower a few weeks ago. That's a neat light right there. Yeah, it's really neat, and they got pretty nice uh, prints, and I think this is a this is an actual print. That's a, I mean, that's, that's an actual signature of uh, uh, the print 175 out of 250. So that's not, you know, something you just buy anywhere. That's, that's, that's real. So they've got, I love these hotel things where so if we want privacy, we just press the privacy button, or if we want to make up the room, we press make up the room. And then on the outside, the doorbell. Yes, we have a doorbell. Let's see if our neighbors are out. We have nice neighbors. <laughs> I thought I had a doorbell. Maybe I don't. Oh. Doesn't work? Maybe it's got to shut. Bye. Did you say come in? Yeah. yeah I guess it can't. Oops, sorry. Knocking the things around there. Um, this is this view. Yeah, so it's a pretty nice view. Walk in the room, snackage, wine. Yes, there's a nice, nice mirror. But look at the, I mean, seriously, you get, a, you get a, the bed. I mean, it's, it's just framed very nicely. Yeah. You get a good shot of the bed. Uh, the view is not amazing. I mean, it's a parking lot, but uh, huge TV. Oh, yeah. The TV huge is TV. nice. Okay. And I like that. Although, I don't know if they've got true high definition signal. They had like some text on there that was hardly legible. On the, we were watching uh, Deadliest Catch, and it was do difficult to read the tweets that popped up. Yeah. But I, I think the I like the lamps on the side of the bed, how they're hanging down, and the kind of less like spotlights above yeah. it. Kind of and this is becoming customary in a lot of hotel rooms too. Uh, an iPod dock, so it's easy to. Charge your phone oh, yeah. or whatnot if you have any extra extra cables. Those are just now starting to pop up. Having stayed at hotels for years and years and years, um, this is actually a really nice room. And then I took a picture of this last night and posted it to Instagram and Facebook. The 
Yeah. Here come closer. The bathroom? Got, yeah, the, but the how they have the glass and there's like yeah. things that are strung inside the glass. Mm -hmm. Like colored glass. It's kind of neat. But it is a nice bathroom too. A really nice bathroom. And I gotta turn on the shower. You guys are gonna freak out when you see this. So it's got a vanity built in here. It's a pretty cool curved mirror. Oh, I like that a lot. It's really it's neat. really cool. Nice, uh, nice stuff. Really, I mean, it's, it's a really nice room. Um, a nice bench. I'm gonna put my wine down. And I, I can see you through here. Uh, this is cool. So I'm gonna waste water so you can see this. Tell me if you can see this. Okay, so let me try. Three heads. Boom, boom. You got them? Yeah. Can you see them? Here, come, come, come to the side. You can see this angle. Yeah, we can see them. You got them? Isn't that wild? It's weird. It's very weird. Because you don't expect to be having water shot in places that it's not used to shooting. It feels good, actually. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a, a massage. Uh, toilet, not that exciting. Flushes <laughs> fast, flushes well, which is important for a toilet. Anyway, that's a tour of uh, our uh, Tulalip room. And on the soft bed, I would say. <laughs> actually, we can give relationship advice. I was having a bad day yesterday. I was having a pretty bad day yesterday. Yeah. And I, 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 we had to take the dogs into uh, the hotel, like the kennel or whatever. And that wasn't what put me in a bad mood. I'm not at liberty really to discuss what put me in a bad mood. Uh, but I came in. Diana was putting her hair and makeup on. I mean, her, her makeup on. Her hair was already on. <laughs> um, and um, yeah. I said, we got to go. We, we're late for an appointment. I, I was kind of stern about it. And I stopped. I turned around. I came back. I said, I'm really upset right now. But what I say, hon? It's not you. It's not you. I let her off the hook. That's a big, big relationship tip for people. I was upset. I knew I was upset. I could feel myself upset, but I knew Diana wasn't to blame. If I came in there and was all agitated and then left without letting her know, yeah, she would. She you would. You would have felt like it was you or something you did. Right. What was wrong? And what I wanted was, you know, just a vent. I was. Just, I was trying to get it off, but I had to let her off the hook. And that's that's important in relationships when you get when you're feeling upset, but the other person isn't responsible for that. If you don't tell them that, they it's like they have all this weight on your shoulders. So after I told her that, I mean, yes, it was I, you know, I still had to process the, the anger that I was feeling. And Diana let me process that, and then after I was kind of process it, she appreciated that you know I was able to do that. She was able to be there for me, and I think yeah. that's kind of the key in the relationship is when you do that, that. Mm -hmm. You want the other person to be there for you. That's why you're in the relationship. So you have to let them know that they're not at the center of whatever you're feeling upset about so that they can be there with you to allow you to process those feelings and emotions. So I'd say, had a bad day, but it could have been a lot worse if, if Diana had not understood that and, and had I not told her that it wasn't, it wasn't her fault. A lot of people make that mistake. I see it all the time. You've got you've to let the other person know. You have to. Guys and girls, you both. You have to let them know. And I think mm -hmm. Diana handled, you know, my whatever it was yesterday. I mean, I, it was a little, I was a little, I told you I was a little off yesterday. Though. Right, you, yeah. I think you handled it well. You didn't, you, you know that we all have bad days and oh, yeah. we, we all do. But I think the key to, to being successful is letting the other person know. It's like when Diana tells me, when she's upset, I, can't, I don't know what's going on. But when she tells me what's going on or like that it's, I'm not to blame, it's like a thousand you know, pounds are lifted off my shoulder, and then suddenly I can be there for her. Yeah. And and vice versa, really. It's hard though when someone's processing their emotions. You don't know if they're directing some of that at you. They're just they can be frustrated, angry, upset, any male, female. But you know, I I, I tell you, it's that's part of having a, a successful, uh, I'd say, you know, relationship. Or what does Doug say? Doesn't matter. What what did he say? Yeah, I was telling Chris that Doug said something at our wedding ceremony that he said um, at the end, like how many times you argue, you know that at the end of the day, you have to make up no matter what. So just keep that in mind, and then maybe you won't get as maybe stressed or mad because you know you have to make up. You have to make up. There's you no know, other way around it. And it's like I say, you know, it's like you have to also give forgiveness to someone. And even after, even if they did something eight years ago, I'm looking at Diana, even though the camera's lens there. It's, imagine, you know, you've got a gaping wound here. you got to let it heal, right? And right. once you think it's almost completely healed, if, if someone comes along and rips that scab open, it's got to start the healing process all over again. 
So you have to forgive. You have mm-hmm. to let that thing heal over. And, and you may have that scar, you know, forever, but at least it's healed over and, and you don't expose that wound every time. That's why it's important to to process and to, to let it to to let go and learn from each time you, you know you, there's discord uh with uh, discord that's the wrong word i can't believe i'm googling this word maybe i was right discord i was like, thinking uh, 4g around here is oh, four, four, 4g yeah yeah, disagreement. Holy shit, I was right. Yeah. Disagreement between people. Disagree. Isn't that how I, I used it in context? Never mind. I'm second guessing myself. Ugh, I hate when I do that. Oh, anyway, that doesn't upset me. I'm not angry. <laughs> yeah. See, practicing. So we're at the Eagles buffet. The Eagles. Actually. Yes. That's true. And we got, it's about 9 a.m., right? Uh, yeah, just past 9 a.m. We, we yeah. were up at 6 in the morning yes. to get here early so we could get back home so we could pick up the dogs so we didn't have to pay for an extra day. Turns out the Sunday brunch doesn't start until 9 a.m. Yeah. So we're here. So what'd you get? Uh, I got a cheese blintz, and I haven't had one of these in ages. Bacon, of course, a must. Uh, pot sticker. I also have some freshly sliced ham, some noodles, egg rolls. Uh, actually, that's a spring roll. Pizza, <laughs> which is funny because you got the same, you got pizza. For breakfast. Egg drop soup. I also have water and red stuff that I'm probably not going to drink. I think it's cranberry juice. I think it's supposed to be cranberry juice. It's probably just sugar with cranberry flavor. Yeah. So what'd you get? I got orange juice, some spicy sauce. I got peaks as well. I already dug into mine. Salad, shrimp, egg roll, bunch of goodies, and water. Mm. We're on our way to get the puppies. Yay! What's wrong, honey? Uh, I was just thinking. I've been doing videos for, God, how long? 19, 1997? A long time. And we were talking to Judy and Benji last night, and we were talking about other YouTubers, and some of them get death threats. And I've never gotten a death threat, so is, am I doing something wrong? We're here at the Doggy Hotel, picking up our dogs, Wicket and Pixie. Me, me, there's Wicket. Me We've been gone for three days. Uh, two. Two days. Well, we just had him here because uh, we were going uh, on a weekend giveaway up at Toledo. So they don't take pets. I see. Uh, but, you know, actually, some hotels do a pretty good job with. It. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, flat all those behaviors and stay off. Misty, Wicket. Good boy. Hey, Pixie. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Misty. You found a friend? Cool. Yeah, no, no, check this out, check this out. They're like, uh, they was on Kickstarter. It didn't get funded, but they still sold them. So these little, they make different kinds. They even make kinds that stick to the bottom of glasses. These are just... Kind of like uh, things you can stick on plates for guests. Can you see them glowing? Yeah, they look cool. And as you turn them, you can press them up or down to turn them on or off. So like that one's off. And it, it'll this one, if you press it enough times, it'll cycle through the different types of colors. So it's not just red, green, blue, etc. So it's kind of like, they're kind of like party favors. So you can set them on plates or whatever, just being decorative. And I like. Now, can you stick glowing. liquids in them or? Uh, not really. Actually, they may make shot glasses out of them. You could probably do that. You could probably make shot glasses. Take some shots. Yeah. And this one, see, look at that one. It's special. Can you read it? It says Perillo. It may be blue, so it's there you go. Whoa, yeah. Perillo or Chris Hart Diana. Oh. So they'll do custom ones. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I just found it on Kickstarter one day. I'm like, dude, I have to have these. They glow. Crash day. Yeah, that's all out. We've got compost, recycling, and trash. Although, in terms of what's supposed to go in what, I'm still a bit lost on that. Yeah, so am I. We try, we try hard to recycle, but sometimes we're not sure. You, uh, the trash is, was already taken out, wasn't it? I think it so. Empty. Yeah. 
All right, so this is the compost one. That's the recycle one that we take out the front. Yes. And this, this is the most is, glamorous part of my week here. This is what we do every Sunday. I can't believe we generate this much junk. <laughs> A lot of the boxes are shipments. And then we put them out on the curb. Yeah, I'm waiting. I think the neighbors are outside. I don't want them to see me in my PJs. <laughs> Wait, as opposed to YouTube? <laughs> I think they know I'm <laughs> Huh? Everyone seems to think that it would be a good idea to keep it, uh, the vlogging into, uh, the keep it in the locker room channel. Except for Wicket. I got, I asked, well I asked a question on Facebook and Google Plus, uh, yesterday, last night, and a lot of you guys responded, Locker Gnome, I don't know, I agree, Locker Gnome, Locker Gnome. Uh, do, do, uh, Locker Gnome, Locker Gnome, Locker Gnome. Well, here's the thing. I can't put it in a new channel because you can only have one Google Plus account tied to a YouTube channel. So I, I can only keep it in one channel. Uh, that's, that's the biggest problem. I, I, we're just gonna have to set up a, a playlist for it that, that, uh, people can watch if they just want to watch the vlogs. Just a, a separate playlist for it. I think that's probably gonna be the best way of doing it. Because of the Google Plus shortcoming, I'm, I, I'm not going to open up two Google Plus accounts until, you know, they fix that. That's just going to be the, the, the best bet. And everyone seems to like the idea. Even the, the Grand Canyon video that I uploaded today, people were like, do more of this kind of stuff. I'm like, okay, so I guess we're going to be doing Perilogs.